LinkedIn uh, just out with its 2019 list of the top companies to work for. This year uh, bodes well for much of Silicon Valley, as usual. But uh, there's some bad news for uh, Tesla. Join us now to elaborate on the report. Dan Roth, LinkedIn uh, editor-in-chief. And, and you don't make any value judgments on, on why people want to work at these places. You've got 610 million global members, and you just look at where they want to work. Like, Amazon is always up there. Why yeah. would anyone want to work at Amazon? Well, if you look at the top three companies, they've been sem the same basically trading places for the last three years. Alphabet, Facebook, Amazon. All right, I'm, I'm re-asking right. the question. Why would you want to work in one of those air Number one. 18 hours a day where you don't get, you know, you read the, the article. Yeah, sure. And you have I mean, people, you mean management there? And it's or not you, just, you, you know, don't want to be one of the... Well, uh, uh, and every one of these companies, there's stories, you hear stories about the high pressure atmosphere, especially at Amazon. What people do is they want to work at places where they get skills. Get and stock. They, can, they want skill. stock. These, these places pay well, they treat you well, and they train you. And the last one is the most important. If you look at how many jobs millennials, who are now the biggest chunk of the workforce, will have, they'll have three times as many jobs as baby boomers will have. And so they're, they're collecting skills. They're adding things to their resume that will look good when they go to their it's next job. It's that, that they seem to pick the, the companies that are sort of in vogue or in the news. Like, I'm not sure I'd want to work on an assembly line at Tesla either, maybe in management or something. But yeah. what are they thinking? Where they, yeah, I mean, at least there are some old line companies that, that made it. There's some banks on here and there's some advertising agencies, Mad Men. I mean, that seems like fun, right? Yeah, but it's, drink it's actually lunch. totally different. So let me give you, so on Tesla, something like 90% of workers at Tesla have said they believe that they're changing the world. These are people that are investing in a company because they're saying these are hard problems. These are a company that I believe in, that I'm, that is gonna, that I'm selecting myself we to go into. We believe that here, Dan. And then, well, uh, a Comcast don't, is number 15. Andrew, don't you believe you're yeah, changing yeah. the world here? It's, it's Every well, day. I'm, I'm, I'm trying, knocking yeah. my head against, yeah. the, against the wall trying to change the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, you're just trying to change the show. Yeah, you and, you and AOC, and it's very difficult to, to change it into the world they want. But so, but a, a company like Tesla, yeah. which has a reputation of being a difficult place to work, given right. all these articles you read, yeah. how do you square those, the, those pieces? I think there is a massive difference between what we expect job seekers to do and what they actually do. And I think that if you are going to somewhere where you say, look, I want to solve problems around self-driving cars, where are you going to go? You're going to go to Tesla. Are you not going to go there because you've heard it's a hard place? We did a story on Uber a couple years ago when they were at the top of the top startups list and asked the exact same question. How is a company that is constantly getting bad headlines still attracting top uh, talent? And the answer was, I believe that it's not going to affect me. So that's, well, it's, that's interesting too, though. Like the best place to work is a place that offers you opportunities. Yes. Like that, that may be just what it comes down to. Yeah, it's opportunity. You know, if you look also going back to the millennials point, they are making about a third less than their peers did at, in other generations at this point in their life. They need good jobs that are going to help them get to that next level. They are catching up from the Wait, Great Recession. Is that? Like, why, why are they making less? Is it because it's overall because wages are down? Is no, they graduated during a really bad really time. Bad they time. Like, so they, they started way behind. Exactly. Well, I mean, Uber is number six. You don't need to use LinkedIn. You just say, I'm going to be a driver. Can't <laughs> you just be, become a driver at Uber? I'll give you something. An interesting stat about Uber a, is... You don't work for Uber if you're a driver. You're a contractor. At so Uber, that's true. This is, these are all management you, you, well, jobs. You mean right. white-collar jobs, not blue collars. Well, for these, the ones that they're hiring for when they're putting out a job position for they're, they're not driver positions these are you know, at uber positions but 3,000 workers at uber changed jobs last year within the company there's a ton of mobility and about a tenth of those were sent overseas so if you want and deloitte is another one deloitte's number five because deloitte lets you find new skills they'll send you different places they are it's very attractive if you were saying i'm going to work at this company for a few years i'm going to gain some valuable skills and then i'm going to go do what i really want to do or i'm going to go hop somewhere else these are job hoppers you are training. So you've got to figure out a way to get them in, give them the skills. And going back to your Mad Men question, you know, the Mad Men era of advertising is over. But these ad yeah, agencies are here because they are that. training people how to be analytical, how to use new tools. And every one of these companies in the top ten right. are hiring those companies to go and do their marketing campaigns. Walt so. Disney, can I see yeah. your front of the line pass? I mean, I don't want any of these jobs. You know, Are you kidding you know who me? Happiest Disney? place on earth. Oh, that's right. No, you know who worked Carl. There? Carl. He did. Now he's here. Yeah. And he likes <laughs> right. it better here. We act, actually, Comcast is above Disney. Comcast yeah, there you go. 15, Comcast, yep. NBC. We're ahead of Tesla. I think he worked a summer down there. Ahead of Tesla. The, the, the cruise. The I think cruise. Goldman Sachs should be higher, unless you don't want to make a, you know, $100 million. I yeah. think... Um,
I don't know. I just. Uh, well, this is the nice you, part about this should. list is that it's based on the data. We don't actually. That's no what I mean. It, it makes no like sense. People are doing. It makes no sense to me. It makes no sense to you. No. Doesn't. Anyway. Dan, thank you, sir. Thanks for having me. Here. Made sense to me.